What's going on, everybody? So I have a very interesting topic to talk about. This is something that I've actually been very curious about myself. So before we get started, if you guys are free to play and you guys have been grinding since day one um, or, you know, have been playing a lot, not necessarily since day one, but you've been playing for a while and you are free to play and you are grinding consistently, drop a comment down below on what your resonance is. Love to do a follow-up video on this i'll probably drop a poll on the channel because i'm very curious to see what everyone has been able to achieve now i've done the math on this a long time ago um but obviously it's been a couple months since i've done that and my roundabout estimate came to about you could be anywhere from about 1k to 1250 around that range if you're fully free to play and you've been playing um, since day one and you've been relatively smart on what you're doing now obviously you could be a little bit higher than that potentially obviously you could be a little bit lower than that potentially it really depends on luck in this game because well you could get a five out of five sell it blood soak j boom you instantly made 640k platinum and bam you're rolling in the dough and you can upgrade a bunch of gems right so we're not considering that fact obviously we're talking about the average as this post says free to play resonance right now. Now, as many of you know, I have 3K resonance. I rushed 3K resonance within two months of the game. Why? Well, because I was creating content on the game and I wanted to see uh, A, how Magic Find worked and if I really felt the difference. B, whether or not the resonance increase really mattered at the end of the day. And then three, hopefully it would help me actually grind the game a little bit easier uh, because I was playing the game 12 to 16 hours a day. And I'll say at this point, really, there's only one thing that I've noticed as a pay to win player for the time since the beginning of the game. Again, I've spent about $2,400 on the game to get 3K resonance. I myself was decently lucky. I was on the I was on the luckier side and I was incredibly smart with how I decided to use my platinum. Remember, I was playing on day one when the game was literally mobile only and i was basically able to manipulate the market day one because every single gem was selling for max price on day one we're talking one stars was selling for like 4k two stars were selling for like 8k three stars or uh two out of five stars were selling for 64k did not matter what type of gem it was you were just getting max platinum assuming you were just selling everything you had so i made a ton of platinum on day one just taking advantage of that but for the average person who started potentially around that time and you're free to play, you didn't have the resources to sell. So you are kind of stuck in that whatever your market was during the time. But I figured it'd be kind of cool as I talk about all that to see where some people posting are at in terms of free to play resonance. One, this allows you to let you know, okay, maybe I got a little bit unlucky. Maybe I am not grinding as hard because the only way to progress resonance as free to play, well, there's a couple of ways. First off, you have your daily platinum generations. That's 300 platinum per day. You have your normal gems, which you can get from grinding group content. Your hidden layer gems are actually not sellable. Those are bound gems, but the 12 that you get per day, um, grinding gems in dungeons or open world content, you could sell those and actually make a decent amount of platinum there. And then of course you have your legendary crests but they have to be eternal legendary crests and i believe there's only three ways to get those you have your weekly from warbands you have another weekly and then you have um the crafting version let me know if i'm forgetting another eternal legendary crest again talk about the ones that are sellable so there's really not a ton of ways to get free to play resonance right and get platinum and then earn some but those are the ways and some people are doing those every single day right if you're grinding 12 gems every day um through you know grinding the open world if you're grinding uh a ton of your dailies 300 platinum per day if you're going ahead and doing all that that's a lot of platinum and then of course there's the free to play aspect where you could just make multiple characters right i would not recommend making multiple accounts blizzard has not mentioned anything like that but i believe making multiple characters is still a um, not against the terms of service they have not mentioned on what multiple accounts looks like again multiple battle net ids is what I'm talking about, but trading your platinum back, so putting basically putting it on the market, buying them on your main, and then making platinum that way. You make a lot of platinum, and of course, you could do that as well on as many characters as you are allotted and make a ton of platinum that way, which some people do do, and that's obviously gonna be way on the higher end of the average free to play resonance. But let's just go through here because I'm actually very curious. Again, my estimates around 1k to 1250. This top comment here, 23 updates. I have around 1100 residents free to play grinding from first week, Paragon 490, and 
11,100 CR. Pretty impressive, you know, 1,100 residents. Again, that is a very solid number. And again, my estimate is based on you grinding every day. We're not talking about people that might just be playing since day one and they're just logging in, doing whatever. We're talking about people that are consistently getting their gem drops every day, consistently getting your daily platinum per day, consistently getting your legendary crests every week. And I'm sure, again, this guy's been saying he's grinding from first week and he's Paragon 490. I believe the server Paragon right now is 484, which means that there's six levels above Paragon, which I would consider, you know, a grinder. That's, that's just six levels above. That's, you know, a, a typical average grinder, the term grinder, not a casual player by any means. We have 1k after eight months of grinding gems and dungeons and selling them via marketplace um yep 1k after eight months of grinding gems definitely one way to go ahead and get your platinum it's one of the only ways uh definitely really solid here at 1k the average is difficult to assess because new players will suddenly have lower residence 100 percent but for someone who's been playing since the start between 800 and 1000 residents should be possible most will be lower around 500 upwards i, I disagree with this because I've played on uh, on a on lower residence count, and I've also done the math, right? Regardless, people will always say, oh, you're a whale, you don't know what you're talking about. This is just not the case, right? You can literally do the math on how much gem power you need, how many crests you get per week, how many gems you can get, average out the platinum, look at your market, right? You could just do the math. It doesn't have to do with whether you're a whale or not, uh, but we're talking about massive grinders, right? We're talking about grinding the heck out of the game. And 1250 is obviously very, very high on, the, on that scale, but 1K to 1100 is very, very possible. Uh, and again, we're talking about grinders here, 500 upwards is probably a good estimate for the casual player to be honest this is probably what the casual player looks like um because again the casual player isn't someone that plays a lot so i could get behind this if you're if you consider the average free-to-play casual player um you can see here wife and i are battle pass only players she has slightly higher residents residents than i am we have 1300 something again that's that's about what i would expect right battle pass only you get a lot of value from that you get a lot of um normal gems one so you could upgrade your normal gems without having to use them so you're definitely selling all those you're getting your fervent fangs uh and you're getting your select weakenings and all that good stuff pretty decent right 13 residents definitely past what i would expect for free to play but they said battle pass only so i'd expect that as well Late in the beginning, still around 800 residents after getting fortified concentrated will. Mostly just lazy with ember grinding, so I never got as many crests each week as someone that maximized would have. Actually, this is something that I completely did not mention, and this is absolutely true. Rare crests are a huge way of getting platinum, and I should have mentioned this earlier, um, but to be honest, it's such a little amount of, of gem power, but if you are free to play, one of the best ways to get gem power, gem power specifically, is by farming your rare crests. And so you definitely want to keep doing this. I did mention crafting eternal legendary crests or gems, but I didn't actually mention um, going ahead and grabbing your gems from the rare crests themselves. Because what you get from the rare crests and using them is you get those runes, right? You use those runes to craft into eternal legendary gems or crests and use those to go ahead and run in dungeons. Right, or running those elder rifts but using your rare crest every every single day that you get them as well as using your fading ember and grinding out your fading ember this is something that i personally do not do because even if i were to do it i still wouldn't progress because i've spent a ton of money on the game so i can't even reach it but this guy as he says ember grinding gets you a good amount of gem power per week and when i say a good amount we're talking like less than 10 gem power right we're not talking about massive amounts but that 10 gem power adds up right in eight months that's a lot of gem power and of course you can get lucky and get more one star gems so that is an important thing to note this person says 806 residents without ever having paid or using ults for the first two months i didn't cap the embers but i've done it regularly later when i realized the relevance of those social day crests got a couple bad of three out of five so i may rank slightly above average for pure free to play again i agree with this as i mentioned in my initial estimate i would say 1k to 1250 for your average grinder the person who's doing everything every day but 860 is already a good number right that's definitely above the casual player and you have to cap your embers and that's a lot of elder rifts per week lots of elder rifts per week um this person's at 1320 residents without spending a penny i assume another top percent off for free to play i don't run alts, run alts i just got lucky i guess 100 percent this person's at 1320 that's a really high number i was assuming at 1250 you would have had to get lucky anyways um like decently lucky we're not talking about extreme luck but look at this this guy says um luck is a huge factor if you get a five out of five syllable gem as i mentioned earlier and this person says yep so i'm assuming that means that they got five out of five um 
right? So again, you're able to boost up past way past that estimate. Again, 70 resonance is not something to be sh kind of shying away from. Like when you get to 1100 resonance, the difference between like, let's say 1K resonance and 1100 is massive compared to like 500 to 600. That difference is way higher on the top end versus the lower end. So you can't just be like, oh, well, 100 resonance is the same, you know, different numbers, I guess you could say, but the cost associated are exponential as we go through. And I've done several videos on the math so far. Um, 800 residents, we have 800 to 900. Battle Pass only close to 1200. Let's see, we got 2000 with three alts plus marketable gems. Wow, um, that's crazy. Um, 3500 residents with 30 alts in this subreddit. Hmm, I wonder if that's even possible. You know, I'm not gonna say that they're a liar, but that seems very fishy uh, to me. I don't know about that, but hey, 30 alts. I don't know the math about 30 alts, so I'm not gonna say. 1500 with three alts, 1000 without alts, genuine play every day. 500 without consistent play, 100%. I agree with pretty much all those estimates. And I think most of the time you could see here, 1180, uh, took play one for day, but took two months off. It was like, do you have four star hell? It's called a four star Svensson. There you go. So, again, the average grinder is what I'm reading here. Again, around that 1100 to, to potentially even 1300. That's what I'm reading. So, a little bit higher than my estimate. The casual players are anywhere from 500 to 800. The more casual players that is, uh, is what you're going to find, or the unlucky players. So, I think that's pretty cool to, to know for the free to plays and for yourself for potentially future. I'm gonna run a poll here on this video. So I will leave it in the comment section down below. I'm gonna put my, you know, the average residence. I'm gonna do uh, numbers from like 500 to 700, 700, 900, 900 to 1100, and then 1100 plus for free to play players. Um, I think it's pretty curious. I'll run multiple polls actually, cause I'm curious how long you guys have been playing the game for a, and also how much residence you actually have if you're free to play. I think that's a pretty cure. Uh, I'm pretty interested in this topic because well, I actually don't even know in terms of where you guys are at in the game watches my videos uh i know there's a lot of you that are still stuck around from the beginning of the game there's a lot of people that left the game so i'm actually curious to know just for myself but uh hopefully this will be interesting to you all so let me know what you guys think about this and i figure we just have a conversation about this because i think this is a pretty interesting topic and again depending on what you guys are and if you're free to play you can even mention if you guys are spending the battle pass or you spend a little bit of money let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are what residents you are and uh, kind of what states you're in in the game thanks for watching i'll see you all tomorrow